All right, I am back with another video for King to Come Deliverance, and I'm gonna be covering the run quest to where some of you might have got stuck in the Castle Tamper. I know I did for a little bit, just because there's so many different ways this quest can go, so many different twists, and there's a lot you can do to mess it up. So, if you went too far in the quest, it's probably best to reload your save, your most recent one, because you can mess up. So first, you're gonna start talking to Sir Robard here to start the quest. But because this is the beginning of the game still, our charisma isn't high enough to persuade him like usual. And we just can't get anywhere with him. Now before this video ends, I'm going to be showing you guys how to walk out this castle with a horse and a full set of armor with you. It is going to be stolen, but you can always sell that for money. Now after we get through this... We now have the option to get out of the castle. Now, you can go about this a lot of different ways. As you see here, let's just jump out. But it's it's not, it's not that easy. You just can't jump out because you're actually uh, like a prisoner. And now they're going to be chasing you. They're always going to be chasing you now. I didn't see how long they chase you for uh, because the fact that you don't even have a horse now. I think you can maybe steal a horse. But that's going a little too far with your hurting your reputation I think not too sure but anyways forget that that's out the question we go up to the front gate right here talk to this guy okay so when you start talking to this man holding down the fort right here like I said before you had to be very careful to what you see everything you choose in this game makes an impact on their gameplay so be very very careful tread lightly so with the with this next one like like we don't have enough money anyways to pay him because it's, it's the beginning of the game. So we'll just go with this one because it's the only one that actually works. Okay, so with this next part of the conversation, you got you have to be careful. Because if you choose the top one, you won't even get updated for the next objective. You won't even know what to do. So, choose the bottom one. So... He gives you an idea of what to do. He definitely helps you out. This guy right here. He lets you walk right out of the castle. No problem. The only problem right here is you have to lockpick a chest. It's a very easy chest. It's the most easiest chest in the game. I know they are difficult. Trust me. But you're going to watch me here pretty soon, and it's going to be like a piece of cake. And I'll walk you through it. It's pretty easy. So right here, we get our next objective, which we can now find armor, which is going to be the chest. But before we do that, we have to get a little money to buy a lockpick from the trade. So, in this room right here, you'll find a little chest right here with enough money to get a lockpick. You can also find some other goods right here, like a little bit of food. Everybody needs food, right? We ha we have to eat. So, you go find the trader right here. It's right by the front gate. Talk to him. Okay, so once you sell your goods to get one lockpick, one lockpick. Yeah, you're going to get one lockpick, so make sure you be very careful with it. And if it's possible, if you have any savior snaps, which I only had one, and I used it, right when I was in front of the chest so if I messed up I could reload my game with no problem but you can also sleep in a bed you have one chance to sleep in a bed and after you sleep in a bed you can't sleep in it anymore because it won't let you rest you have no time I guess you have to be in a rush because you know there's a damn war going on anyways once you get to this chest there's gonna be a guard on patrol and you just have to wait for the right moment. He can't hear you because he'll be coming right back up to check out the noise. So you have... A, I don't know how much time you have to do this, but... It seemed like I had a lot of time. Now, so, you have to take your right stick, find the sweet spot. Take the left stick, turn it. And turn the right stick. And just move it at the same time. Simultaneously, keep moving it, keep turning it. You turn it, keep turning it. I mean, this was actually pretty easy. 
compared to the easy one I tried to open. That was impossible. So I guess you just have to have perks for the other hard ones. They're impossible. You just keep open very easy ones to get you leveled up and then you can buy perks so you can open up the harder ones. And now we have armor. Stolen armor, but we have armor. Which, like I said, you can always sell it and make money off it. But you have to find the right person to sell it to. So once you have it equipped, you go ahead. What are you looking at? Yeah, that's what I thought. You go ahead and walk over to your horse right here. You hop on this man like it's your horse. Because it is your horse. This is your horse that would be stealing. This is your horse. So you, you jump on your horse. You do a nice little spin move. Boom. Alright, we're good. So we got armor, we got our horse. Last step. Which they need to add this feature right here is talking to someone while you're on a horse, because that's that's not cool. At all. So after you talk to this man holding down the fort. So as I keep playing this game, I find out that these quests are pretty challenging. They got a lot of twists to them, a lot of things you can get done. There's a lot you can do to mess them up. So as you play the game, just just keep a note. Just be, just be careful. And try to save as much as possible. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get out this gate right here. And does it feel good? And that wraps this video up, guys. If I helped you out, come on, man. Please leave me a like. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, I'm going to be covering Key to Come Deliverance pretty much the whole entire game. We're just getting started here on our small channel, so make sure you subscribe for the cause and help me get started.